if you look at most the uh, headlines on the news today it's um, all about the coronavirus and over the past few weeks as well and it's just you know the, the tally keeps going up how many people have been infected how many people have sadly died from it and it's caused you know widespread fear and panic people are nervous it's really made a massive impact on travel people have been quarantined in ships people coming back to different countries uh, have to you know stay away from their family people are not allowed to travel to other countries and it's really causing uh, a lot of uh, worry across the community and I think it's something which we have to hope will uh, get resolved and those who are looking for a cure will find one shortly and hopefully uh, bring cure to those who need it and of course hopefully resume uh, somewhat of normality which we're used to but I was thinking about this concept of fear and something which as I said is being spread quite far and wide at this at this present time and uh, in our parish this week we see something interesting it's the Ten Commandments Pasha Yitro and there's an interesting line Moses said to the people because when they came close to the mountain and of course heard God's word it says that they were scared so Moses tells them don't be afraid and only a sentence later he says to them and allow this fear of God to you know cause you not to sin and so it's interesting because on one hand he's telling them don't be scared and he says then on the other hand you should be afraid you should have fear what's going on here is it good or is it bad and I think there's a number of interpretations but one which I think is I guess motivational in a sense that it gives us something to be inspired in terms of changing our behavior and really there's two types of fear in a sense there's the fear which is debilitating which stops us which prevents us from being productive which makes us scared which makes us in a sense curl up and be afraid to move forward there's another fear which is a fear which motivates us it makes us feel you know what I want to be in the presence of greatness yes it's daunting yes it's it's quite scary but it motivates us to understand that there's something greater out there and in a sense, it's also when you, you know, sometimes if you've ever had a, a role model, somebody that you have a lot of, uh, you know, awe for, sometimes when you're in the presence of that person, it's that, it's that fear, that, that fear in terms of being around somebody who's great, which inspires and motivates you. So what Moses was telling the people is, don't be, don't let that innate fear, which is of course sometimes useful because it helps us protect ourselves, but don't let that be the overcoming emotion. Don't let that fear debilitate you and cause you to, you know, not progress in life. On the other hand, use the, the concept of fear to grow, to, pro, to progress, to be inspired, as I said, to have awe of those around you, of course, to be in awe of God around us too. And so hopefully with all this fear that's going around, let's try and capture, let's try and take a piece of the, the good sense of fear. Hopefully we can leave the fear which debilitates us right behind. Wishing you and yours a Shabbat Shalom, and as I said, hopefully only good news coming forward. Have a good weekend.